Happy Wednesday. I thought I had to take the cap off, but I already did. Hi, Maddie. I am just making some of these faux leather mini journal covers while I wait for a minute. And then we're gonna work on a couple other things. I'm gonna wait for a few minutes and then I have a question for you guys. Hi Rhoda, how are you? I'm gonna need to get more glue sticks. Ooh, I've asked before, but <clears throat> let me know if you have a favorite glue stick brand. If you, if you use glue sticks. Hi, Christy, how are you? I was working on your journal last night. I've been um, super into interactive journal pages. I went through a big period of time when I first started making journals where I was just obsessed with interactive pages um but then I felt like they weren't super useful in my own journals um so I took kind of a break from it but I knew that every time I sold a journal with like really interactive pages that everyone really liked having those so I just am trying to have a good balance of interactive pages and then pages that are just like easy and inviting to use I guess, but yes. they just look so fun, you know? So, okay, I'm curious, um, ha I'm going to ask you all a question. Have you guys made a travel journal before? And it could either be like travel theme or you just made a journal because you were going on vacation somewhere and you like maybe brought it with you. I have made lots of travel themed journals and then I've also made a handful of journals specific, like for a specific um, vacation. Let me see if I can find one. Like I definitely have one from when I went to Hawaii. Hawaii. Definitely have one from Disneyland. Ooh, this is my journal from when COVID was happening. That's right. And I made a little house, a little house collage kind of thing. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to do this right now, but this is my Hawaii one. Yep. Yeah, this is the one. I never wrote the date on it either. It's so funny. I, whoops. I, I put a little um, title thing on here and I never put the year. This is my Hawaii one. So I had these shells. Ooh, I remember doing these beads, these boho beads. I'm gonna have to do those again sometime. And I like the little eyelet up right here in the corner. It's always fun to look back on your old journals. Oh, my kids are so cute. I don't know why I'm showing this to you guys, but look how cute they are. Arlo is so little, and I'm obsessed with these envelopes. I think I made a printable of these for Patreon members a while ago. I'm gonna have to look for that. Anyways, um... Okay, so I'm gonna finish this last faux leather real quick. And then we will do a couple things. One thing I know what we're doing, the other thing I'm gonna need your guys' help on. If you weren't on yesterday's live, um, I'm making these faux leather journal covers 
to become a little mini passport journal. And I'm using this fun cicada wing paper. And I'm just <laughs> wrinkling it all up to add fun texture. And then I place this right down on top of my craft bag that I'm using as the base. And it's already brown, so the color works good. But you could do this on white, like on a white surface as well, and just play around with it. You might want to ink it up first, or you could see how it looks with just the paper being brown. Um, I've done faux leather in a few different ways, and I really like using the Tim Holtz sprays. Um, I forgot what you call those, spray inks, I think. Those work really, really good for something like this, but, but I like this process because it's pretty simple. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. And then, once it dries, you don't really have to wait for it to dry. Yesterday I didn't, but it's probably the better option. Once it dries, I will just take a bunch of ink and ink it up so that like the textured areas get a little bit darker. I don't know if you can see that. And I really, really like the effect. And then even though it has that texture, I found that stamping on top of it, it still works pretty good because you're still flattening it out as you can kind of see. I'm like smoothing it out. It just has little texture from us wrinkling the paper before. Okay, so enough of that. If you're a Patreon member, I shared um, a free printable today. It was a scan of some of these Portland, Oregon um, postcards that I got from someone in the mail. And so I chose my three favorite ones. My printer is out of ink right now, so I printed it, but um, it looks awful. So I assure you, my printer usually prints these really good, but um, you can kind of see, kind of see. And I want to do a project with these at some point. I was thinking, I'm not exactly sure, but I kind of was thinking of making like a little flip pocket. And I'll have to, I'll, I'll show you that later in the week. My new ink should be here in the next couple days, I hope. But anyways, so a couple different things that I want to do today. Um, one is making fabric tags. And so I think I'll do that first so those can dry. Ow, I just ran my foot over. I think you can see what I'm doing if I'm working right here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just getting further and further away. I am going to be using this um, fabric here, this travel themed fabric that I got from Dawn. And I'm going to use file folders as the base. Let me say hi to you guys real quick here. Hi, Amy and Katie. Oh, so far, Tombow Mono Glue. Oh, there's a glue stick of Tombow Mono. I don't think I knew that. Hello, Diane and Design Queen. Hi, hi, Chalet, Joanne. Yoohoo, I've heard of the Yoohoo glue stick. So I might have to see if I can get that one on Amazon. Um, I made one before. Hi, Lynn. Um, Diane, I make my printables by, most of my printables are scanned, um, scanned pages, and so, um, oh dang it, I already took them off. Basically, I, like, for example, since I did the postcards, I just placed these on a paper, one, two, three, and I used some washi tape to hold them down, and I scanned them, and I think my printer does a pretty darn good job of scanning, um, it's a little harder with dimensional things. Like sometimes I will scan um, like a fabric tag set and if it has buttons on it, sometimes the dimension scans a little weird. Like there will be a bit of a shadow. Um, but other than that, super flat things are pretty easy to scan. And then you 
use that file that you get from the scanning um, for the printable. I hope that makes sense. I'm not very, very good at technical things. <laughs> I do the bare minimum. And if I'm, if there's something I need to do, I just Google or I usually YouTube it, honestly. There's probably, there's got to be YouTube videos, but anyways, um, okay, so I'm using into the file folder. I'm going to cut the edges off. Um, to make this more straight. And I'm not quite sure what size the tags will be. However, let's see here. I do want these tags to fit in the mini journal pocket. So let me think about that. Well, that's okay. I'll figure out the size later. I feel like I'm always at a weird angle. By the way, uh, my neck is hurting super bad, so I'm probably not going to be on here for too long because I'm trying not to overdo it. Um, glue. We need glue. I am just about out of glue again. Literally, it went through two cases of Tombow Mono Aqua. Um, I can't remember right now, but someone so kindly sent it to me and that was awesome and so helpful but yeah was it two months ago maybe I hope that two cases of glue lasted me two months but maybe not anyways um I am just going to spread glue all over the file folder and then I'm just going to place the fabric down all on this big piece and then I do the cutting a little bit later and I am going to sew these tags as well so the glue doesn't have to be super perfect or anything. I'm just going to get it all over the page. And I am going to smooth this out with my finger because I have found lately that if I don't do this, it seeps through the fabric in a really weird way and shows glue lines. And I swear this glue used to, um, it would not show through like that. But... I'm telling you, there's a new formula. I still like it, but I just don't like that part because I really loved that about the glue, but that's okay. Now I'm just going to start by covering this. Let's see, is this, oh, it's like the perfect size. Actually, what I'm going to do is place the fabric down first, and then it'll be easier for me to line this up on top. Trying to use as much of the fabric as I can, so get it right to the edge. And then smooth that out, and it is kind of wrinkling up on the edges, but that's okay because we can dry these flat later. And you can see I did not, let me move this, I didn't iron this at first, and there's a few little wrinkles, but there's only like, right now there's like one little spot that has wrinkles and I'm just going to add more glue and then flatten it out like that, if that makes sense. Just kind of, yeah, that's way better. Now, I'm also hoping that I have enough of this fabric. I have to figure out, I have to make a certain amount of tags with this. I think it's 30, but that should be fine. Cause let me, it'll be like one, two. So I'm probably gonna need to get 10 tags out of, I'm just thinking in my head real quick. Yeah, okay, that'll be fine. Cause I want these to be a, a little bit small, not tiny, but Small enough, like I said, to go in the pocket, so that will be perfect amount. These fabric tags are just going to my ORCID members. Don't worry if you're a Patreon member and you're not an ORCID member. Um, the other things that are included in all of the tiers are super fun too. Like the mini passport journal, that's the main item. So that's the item that anyone from Lily's up will receive. Um, everyone's going to get a travel vintage playing card. And actually this month I bought postcards as well. So I am thinking that I'll include a postcard and 
the vintage playing card, so that's kind of double, double, whatever I'm trying to say. I don't usually include two things like that, but I'm going to this month as long as, I shouldn't say for sure, I still have to weigh everything and make sure, but I should be able to include both. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and then we have the travel tabs made by Dawn at Emerald Mama's Creations. I hope I remember your name right. I have her links below because she's she is kind of collabing with me this month. And then I need to come up with one more thing to make for my rose tier and up. And I am the next thing that we're going to do is probably embellish these Rolodex cards. I put a link in the description. I got them from Amazon, but I'm thinking of embellishing those in some way. Then I have tons of travel stickers, and I think I'm going to include those maybe in the 10 piece, five and 10 piece journal kits. Um, I need to find my fabric scissors. I have been missing them. For a while now. Hmm. Yeah, can't find them. Oh, let me look one more spot. They're so good. I think I got those from Ramona. And I know I have them. They're definitely somewhere. But yeah, this ain't gonna come it. I'll catch up with the comments in just a sec. I know I've been doing a lot of talking. <laughs> I'm just going to cut closely to the edge. These scissors, they're so short that it's really hard to get a straight cut. Not my favorite, but they will do the job. I like them for other things, just not the fabric. Okay, I'm gonna keep the scraps because maybe I'll use these for part of the embellishments or something. I'm not sure. Now I wanna show you a final tag, but I'm probably not gonna work on all of this quite yet. Oh, Elmer's Craft Bond for glue stick. Okay, good to know. Yes, Diane, you should try doing some printables. You do have to get over your fear of sewing. I say just practice on paper. Um, if you have an easy to use sewing machine, honestly, it's, it's easy. But I guess if you're not used to sewing, I do remember it was a bit overwhelming just because you have to learn like threading the machine and all of that. I have videos on all of this. <laughs> um, ooh, best place to buy bulk eyelets. I have seen them on Timu. I ordered a small pack and I remember it being a good price, but I don't think I've used them yet, so I can't vouch for that. Um, and I haven't bought bulk eyelets in a while, but I remember if Maddie's in here, I remember she found a really good place to buy some. I think that was her. And hopefully if she's in here, she can let you know. Hi, Jackie, how are you? Okay, so now that I have my fabric, I would let this dry, but I kind of want to at least finish a couple of these. So let me show you what I would do next. I'm gonna figure out what size these are going to be. So this is about eight inches. So we're going to go four inches. Okay. I'm going to cut this on my trimmer. Um, actually, I'm just going to do it over here. No, I'll bring it over. So the next step, I would probably let this dry first, but because I want to at least finish a couple with you guys, I will just go ahead and take that chance. 
So then I take this entire thing. Now you can either go sew, if you're sewing, you can sew around the edges of everything now, but since I cut them up, I kind of find it easier just to sew each one individually. Okay, so these are going to be about four inches tall. able to cut but the thing is is with them wet with glue still um, that might not be <laughs> the easiest thing but let's just give it a try I feel I actually need with my neck hurting I actually need to put it down here so that I'm not reaching up like that okay so let's see I do remember on my old trimmer, it did this same thing where it cut through the paper, but not the fabric. That trimmer, it should cut through the fabric, but for whatever reason it doesn't. I'm gonna see if I can use these scissors because it started to cut it, but either way, this at least gives me straight cutting um, margin. That's not the word, but a guide. <laughs> and then I'll just finish cutting that through the fabric and then we're gonna let that dry and then next figure out how I want to divide this up this is about 11 and a half inches let me just do a calculator here well half I might not use a calculator, I might just do some folding. That would be too fat. So once I figure this out, I won't have to obviously do this every time. I'll just know exactly how far. Okay, eleven and a half inches divided by I would like to have five. So let's zoom it to eight. Okay, I think that will work. That pen doesn't work. I'm just going to not do these ones perfect just so it doesn't take forever. gonna go with that and am I just gonna cut these ones Ooh, let me try this trimmer once the glue is dry these are definitely much easier to cut but let's see if this will cut through the fabric Nope, it's like none of my trimmers are fantastic, honestly. Well, okay, that big trimmer, it is really good, but it doesn't exactly do what it advertises that it does. Because it shows that you can cut through like, I don't know, I think it says like 20 pages. You can cut through a lot, but not 20. Because I broke it by doing that. Okay. I'm gonna have to figure out where my fabric scissors are. So I'm not gonna cut through all of this just cause that would be boring, but basically you get it. I would cut all of them up into about the same size rectangle. I would do that all at once. Oh, let me pull up the comments again. Oops. Hi Genevieve, how are you? Um, I missed a couple comments, so. Ooh, I'm not very good with tension, knowing what to do with tension on sewing machines. Oh, hi Cindy. Well, I'm glad that you're able to catch me. 
Oh. Sorry, Daryl, although you probably can't hear what I'm saying. Um. Yeah, I don't know why the closed caption won't come up. Oh wait, I guess it makes sense that a clo that closed caption can't come up on a live, right? That does make sense because can closed captioning work like when you're talking live? I don't know, you get, probably get what I'm saying. Um, do I have a trimmer that has the sliding blade? I think that's what this Fiskars one is. Maybe it doesn't actually slide. I don't know. Um, so maybe not. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut the corners. And usually I will do this on one and then I'll use one for my template. My neck is hurting so bad that we're probably just gonna go through the fabric tags today. Okay, whoops. Let me go ahead and just sew around the um, perimeter of this real quick. I'm not gonna move the camera because I will just only be here for a quick second. edges inked up. So I'm just going to grab the ink really quick and let me grab one of the little mini journals so that we can see what this will look like or how it fits I guess. Yep I think that I like the ink around the edges. And I'm going to keep the backs of this um, just with the manila so that you have a spot for journaling or adding any kind of whatever you want. And so, like I was saying, on the mini journals, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and cut a sliver of the top off so that it will be a pocket. And then the tag will fit right, yeah, perfect. And you could also fit like a journaling card in there or whatever. Yeah, that is the perfect size. So it just barely peeks through. Honestly, you can push it down even further, but maybe I'll decide to put a little tab on. I'm not exactly sure, but um, and then, boop. so that will work out perfect. And here's what this looks like in case you didn't see this on the video yesterday. And it just has a few little pages. Fun. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm going to let the rest of these dry flat, um, probably with paper pad on top, and then I will cut all the rest of them. I'm debating. My neck is hurting quite bad, but I sort of want to take one of these Rolodex cards and maybe do some stamping. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with these, but I have some fun travel stamps here. Whoops. Oh, the sliding blade will cut the paper and kind of per perforate the fabric. Okay, the trimmer that I have, um, it does it does kind of perforate the fabric as well. And so it does help me to know where to cut. It just doesn't cut all the way through the fabric, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Rolodex card. Let's see. I grabbed these papers that are from Genevieve actually as well, and I thought these might be fun. I could collage them on here. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with these. Or do I just stamp? Hmm. I'm just looking through to see which stamp I want to use. A lot of these stamps kind of look like like tickets, train tickets, things like that. Ticket to travel. I like this one. So I like this one right here, but it's vertical. 
So I could stamp that and the um, the Rolodex card could be used vertical, which would be kind of fun and different. Or there's one down here that, I guess I like this one too. It says ticket to travel. And then I could do it that way. But I'm wondering which one I shall do. Hmm. I see your point about closed caption being off during a live, but in actual time, people are still deaf or hearing impaired. Oh, I agree. I'm not saying, oh yeah. But I don't know what to do about it, I guess, is what I, that's all I was trying to say. Um, yeah. It is a bummer. I mean, and I don't actually know about clo uh, closed caption. I was just assuming, like, is that, is that actually how it works? Is that closed caption would only work on a video that's not alive? I actually don't know. But I have it turned on all of my videos, um, but I've just been told that it doesn't work on my lives unless it's the replay. And for some reason that just made sense to me. I was like, oh yeah. So yeah, if there was a way that I could change it, I totally would. Cause there's no reason why I am not a fan of having that um, option on. Susie, let's see, hello, I'm a beginner. Can I try one of your Patreons? I feel creative enough to get stuff as well. Um, you, I, if you're asking, can you be a member of my Patreon? You can definitely go check that out and I do have spots available if that's what you're asking. Um. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering how to use these. Yes, uh, my Patreon link should be in my description, so you can go check that out and see which tier you would like to be a part of. The captions on an uploaded video are generated while the video is loading process. Oh, that makes sense. YouTube just doesn't have the functionality to generate them in real time. Yeah, that would be cool if, if they could. I just never thought um, about why it wasn't working on my live videos until today I realized, oh, yeah, how could they know what I'm gonna say? Okay, back to this. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for the vertical stamp. Obviously I can change my mind later. And let me grab a clear acrylic block. Maybe I could do the stamp. I'm really deciding here and do a little snippet tab or something like that. I don't know. Let's just start with this stamp because I feel like it's going to be really simple to just have it stamped, but I think it'll look fun. Okay. This is a new stamp, so sometimes they don't stamp perfectly on the first try. But let's see. Not the best angle for stamping either, but that's okay. Yeah, I missed a little, a little. Probably a bad idea to try to go over it again, but. That's okay. So I'll have to use the stamp a few times, but I think you, you'll be able to get the point. And I'll see if I had my stamping platform, you can easily stamp straight, but let's just play with this. It's fine that it's not perfect. Um, yeah, what else? I do think that it will look good with some ink around the edges, first of all. I watch a lot of shows with captions myself. It takes me too long. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what, for me, it just takes me too long to like, it's almost like there's a delay in my head sometimes when I'm watching a show where like, it takes a second to click. 
that happens when I'm talking to people a lot too because a lot of times I'm thinking about what I'm gonna say next and it's like writing out in words I don't know. anyways I'm not trying to say that I have the same thing but okay so oh this is a cute little stamp maybe maybe I could also do this it's kind of like a little postage stamp sort of thing I'm gonna do this one in brown and we'll just kind of go over like that. Ooh, cute. Now, obviously this one wasn't stamped perfectly, but I like it with that. I mean, this could be totally cute just by itself. So <laughs> maybe, maybe this is really all I do with this because then you have the back for journaling, adding a photo, whatever. Maybe you're gonna put it in your journal but I also want to do some kind of a little snippet I don't know let me see I have oh some stickers here I don't know I want to keep playing but my neck is hurting pretty bad so I feel like I should probably stop here and maybe I'll try to get some idea for using up the papers tomorrow so we have the fabric tags, and I actually really like the Rolodex card stamped like that. It's simple, but um, it's a little bit different from things that I've been doing in Patreon. And like just this right here, I think looks really cute. And I like that the Rolodex card is small enough that you could use it in here you could put it in, um, let's see, you could put it on here as a little pocket, like if you just glue it on this side, on either side, it could be like a little tuck spot, and it's perfect size, so I actually really like that, I hope that you guys do as well, let me go ahead and Yeah, my neck just started hurting this last week. And almost a year ago, I herniated a disc in my neck, or one or two, um, from falling <laughs> while I was roller skating. And it's the exact same pain, except this time, luckily, my fingers are not numb. But yesterday, throughout the day, a couple times, I started feeling tingling and I'm so I've just been super careful. I started doing the exercises that I learned in physical therapy. I may have to go back, but I don't know. I'm hoping just by being on top of the exercising and not overdoing it, that I'll be all right. <laughs> so there's that. But okay, guys, if you guys can come up with any ideas for how to use this fun I forgot what she, what you called this kind of paper. Um, oh, it's stamp catalog pages. Because these would be perfect with the travel theme. And I have, a, I have more of them. More than this. Um, yeah, my only thought is doing like a little... Ooh, I could do like a master board. But then what? Cut them into tags. I'm already doing a tag. I, my other thought is just doing a little snippet collage, but I've been doing those. I want it to be a smaller item so that it could fit in the travel journal. And technically I don't really need one more item. I have everything set with these things, but if I can come up with a fun, easy thing, I will definitely still do something else with these. So you guys get your ideas rolling. We're gonna come back tomorrow. Ooh, I hope I can. I hope I can come back tomorrow and play with these. But yeah, other than that, oh, it's a stamp collecting catalog. Yeah, it's so fun. Oh, and you have some in your shop. And I have her link in the description. So if you guys want to do any kind of travel journaling, go check that out. Use them on ATCs. Ooh, okay. So basically, if I, I haven't done ATCs, is it kind of like a journaling card? Because I could make little journaling cards out of these. And maybe doing some stenciling over the top. 
and then having like a writing spot on the back we can maybe do many journal cards it's a little bit different than what we got going on well anyways I kind of like that idea I could do something that would be like a pretty simple and I would probably adhere them down to file folder I don't know I think that could be cute add a little stenciling maybe do a little snippet in the corner of the journal card or lace lace might look fun okay well that helps me get my brain going I might work on some things today and maybe I'll have a finished idea for you guys tomorrow yeah maybe I'll do that okay and let's see two and a half by three and a half card is an artist trading card it can be journaled on the back okay so it's yeah I I know the term I just couldn't remember exactly but it's basically like an altered journaling card right in a way maybe not altered but yeah Ooh, cut them into a round thing <gasps> chalet I actually really like that yes because I have actually been into circles <laughs> I know that sounds so weird but let me show you where is where are you journal where are you let me show you let me show you after I I made another page like this I think maybe on a live I don't remember but anyways um, I made this using Kara Brandon's printables and so I just loved how these looked it's just fun it's not a shape that you typically use I don't think in like journaling Ooh, so maybe I can do the same type of thing where I'll cut out circles and then I'll probably glue them to pile folder that's a little bigger circle just like this ink up the edges and then I still think I might use some stenciling over the top just so you can see it but it would be a little bit different and then I do have some travel stickers so maybe even like a little label yeah okay I like where this is going guys yeah I guess these travel stickers are not really labels but I don't have a ton of these ones but like maybe even I'm not sure maybe I wouldn't use the stickers but either way yay okay I'm gonna mess around with that I'm probably gonna play around a little bit I'm just gonna sit and do it so if I come up with something that's cute I'll go ahead and post a photo on the uh, community tab and Instagram thank you Shalay. I like that idea a lot I think that would be just a little bit different because I was thinking the journaling card or ATC would be cute, but if I do the Rolodex card, it's just really close to that and the tag. So I like the circle a lot. And then the recipient could do so much with that. I don't, sadly, I don't have a round punch that, that's, that is that big. My biggest one, which, you know what, I might... <laughs> It might almost be worth it for me to buy one just for this. I'm taking a look, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have a round punch that I would, I'm thinking of doing a two inch. That would take a long time to punch those out or sorry to cut those out. Yep. I think I might have to just buy one for this. Okay. I gotta go. Thanks for hanging out guys. Um, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.